What's up dudes? This is Randy from the Hasuverse and today we're talking about the One Piece live action anime. Now, the trailer just dropped a couple days ago and I wanted to initially do a live reaction video to it, but I kind of spoiled myself and I ended up just watching it. But I still want to do a reaction video and I want you guys to know that my thoughts have not changed since I first saw it. So everything you're about to hear today is exactly how I felt when I first saw it. And I also want you guys to know that when the Avatar trailer drops, I will definitely do a live reaction video to it. So I apologize out there. Uh, this was not my intent, but you're still getting an authentic take on what this live action One Piece anime is going to be about. Before I dive into One Piece, I want to talk a little bit about Netflix because They've had a pretty spotty history when it comes to anime, but live action anime, it's even worse. We saw how the Death Note film went. It was absolutely horrendous. And it was so horrendous that they are giving themselves a mulligan and trying again with a live action series. And we'll talk more about that when it comes. But also, Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop had much more promise, but it didn't do well. Here we are when it comes to One Piece. Now, One Piece is a beloved series. It's been around for 25 plus years. And I remember watching in the days of 4Kids TV and look, I loved it, especially the rap. But we also know that that series was all over the place in terms of how the episodes were being aired. They were all out of whack. But I still continue on watching afterwards when it will be on Toonami, uh, but I fell off. Like I'm sure many of you out there probably fell off and have wanted to scramble and watch them again because that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I've been starting reading the manga and I'm probably at this point like 40% there, 30 to 40%. So I'm still a ways out. But I know enough about One Piece, especially what they're adapting here. Basically going to be like the first main arc. Now, this series from the trailer looks pretty promising. And it's funny that I say this because if I started this channel when the Cowboy Bebop trailer dropped, I would have said pretty much the same thing because I felt pretty confident about how Cowboy Bebop went uh, with that trailer. It was one of the best I've seen. They really put all the stops on that trailer. I mean, and from what we've heard from John Cho, he was really committed to the role and making Spike Spiegel like one of the best protagonist for this live action anime so i felt really confident that they were going to do right by it and look for all intents and purposes they did i think on an acting front they tried their best especially john cho and but a lot of the other problems lied especially with vicious because when it comes to the anime vicious was not really seen much throughout and he came across as kind of like a terrifying and really mysterious kind of villain but what we got in the live action was much more comedic and like a bumbling villain which didn't really work out in a lot of people's viewpoints especially people that have watched and loved the cowboy bebop series in general but i will probably be the one person to say this on youtube but I enjoyed the Cowboy Bebop live action show regardless. I think it was a pretty solid show, especially for people that have not actually seen the anime. I think it was pretty decent, but there were some glaring problems with the show. That is definitely true, but I personally did still enjoy it and I wish that it would get another season. Now let's get back into One Piece because I wanted to set the stage with Cowboy Bebop because Cowboy Bebop had all the tools to be a great live action. It is one of those shows that, you know, anyone could really jump into and actually appreciate. So when it comes to this One Piece live action adaptation, I don't really have much hope for it. But seeing this trailer, I felt pretty similar as I did watching the Cowboy Bebop. And I was like, yeah, this is pretty decent. I mean... When you look at the characters, Monkey D. Luffy, he was pretty quirky. He has that quirkiness and like go-getter attitude. Nami seemed to be pretty 
you know, mellow yet, you know, stern and uh, attitude ridden when needed to be. Uh, you also had Zoro who looked pretty badass, I would say. And Sanji looked great as well. I mean, even Usopp, don't forget Usopp. Usopp looked pretty good. And I liked the direction they were going because one of the biggest problems that I thought might be uh, an issue when making this adaptation is just the design because they're so quirky. The body dysmorphia uh, when it comes to the characters and not just them, the villains as well, is pretty real and it's off-putting for a lot of people. But they're kind of taking the approach as not to really fall too hard into that kind of animation style and just saying, okay, we had these guys, they're going to portray Luffy, they're going to portray Nami. They're not going to be 100% like them, but they're just going to embody that essence, especially from an acting standpoint. And I'm here for it. I think that's probably the good choice because you're trying to appeal to more than just anime fans. You're trying to bring in new people that haven't seen the anime that might want to look into a pirate drama or a, with some comedy. Uh, also the CGI, we didn't get too much, uh, but that was another glaring point I wanted to really focus on because look, the whole Devil Fruits gives them some pretty unique powers and it's really hard to see and visualize that on a live action level. But I was really kind of wondering how it would be done and look, it, it's not amazing. But it was pretty decent. I feel the general consensus on the internet is that, you know, this is pretty okay. Uh, there's not really any backlash going from this trailer. So I think a lot of other people feel the same way about it. Uh, also, let's look at Buggy, who's one of the first uh, main villains in the series. And look, the dude was terrifying looking, but it looks like he put on his best Heath Ledger slash Jared Leto Joker impersonation is really trying to go hard at it. So we'll see how that works. I would definitely give it kind of like a B plus A because I think they put in all the points that you needed to know. You wanted to make sure the characters weren't looking crazy. You wanted to make sure the devil fruit power is actually going to be used, see how it's going to look. You want to see the first main villain seeing the merry go. I think they hit all the points that they needed. Look, I'm reserving expectations because I felt the same way about Cowboy Bebop, but that kind of burned. But there are some differences in this production that give this much more of a puncher's chance when it comes to being successful. And I think one of the first things is Oda. Uh, Sensei Oda has been lockstep with this adaptation since the beginning. And even with Cowboy Bebop, I believe Watanabe uh, did kind of fall out a bit uh, within the production and overseeing the consulting for the series. So I think that played a role in its demise, but it looks like Oda has been lockstep with the series since the beginning. And I think that's nothing but good because he realized this is his baby. If he's going to see a live action adaptation of this then he wants it to be done right and he wants it to be done according to his rules as it should be it's one of the things i feel any live action anime should have it should have the creator fully 100 percent behind it and overseeing the whole production because it's the only way you're going to get the best work possible anytime you add other people with other ideas that don't have that closeness uh, with the series, like the creator, it's just going to fail. It's always going to fail. And I think that's going to play a major role when it comes to how the series does. And I think it has potential to be pretty decent. I don't still feel this is going to be a slam dunk. I, I just really don't see that happening. But I think at the end of the first season, people will appreciate it and it will probably get a second season. I feel it'll be one of those shows that'll be a good compliment to the anime. And I think that's the best you can really ask for. At the end of the day, it will never outpace the original. And I think that's honestly what Oda wants. I think that's what Netflix wants. If they're all staying on that same page, this series will do fine. Now, I want to thank you guys for watching me rant and rave about the One Piece live action anime. And Look, I want to know what you guys think about it. I mean, if you love what I'm saying, please hit that like button. But if you think I'm being too pessimistic or maybe too optimistic, then 
feel free to comment on this video. I read all of them and I love getting to good old fashioned debates. I live for it. So feel free to hit me up there. And if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more of what I got, I got plenty more stuff about anime and manga and video games. You can find the platypus by clicking on them there, 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 somewhere on the screen. And don't forget to have a great day, morning, night, whatever it is, wherever you live. And don't forget to stay nerdiest.